capturing this python without hurting himself or the animal. That's Jeffrey Fobb's mission. The seasoned fireman is part of Miami-Dade's Venom One unit, which responds to snake-related emergencies. The key to success, don't panic and carefully approach the reptile, which can be as much as six meters long. They're powerful. It's powerful. It can give me a bite so I could get injured. Uh, and the larger ones are powerful enough to overcome a person if you are not careful, if you are not safe, if you don't understand the animal's behavior. And understand them, he does. With 15 reptiles of his own, Jeffrey even gives classes on how to handle a snake. Smaller. Be at the back of that Cheryl is one of his students. A biologist at the Nature Conservancy, she wanted to learn how to deal with the growing number of Burmese pythons in South Florida. The species is a favorite among snake owners who often release the animals if they get too big. They start off as little 18 inch long um, hatchlings and the biggest one that's been caught in South Florida so far is 18 feet 8 inches. So you start off with this nice little cute uh, animal and then quickly you could in a few years have something that's six or more feet long. If you bought it on a whim you might realize I got myself in for more than I can handle. With tall grasses and large swamps, Florida is the perfect habitat for the python. <coughs> Roberto Torres knows the Everglades region well. He's an avid bird watcher, but says some, some species other, uh, are disappearing. And the, occasional the likely island. culprit, the Burmese python and its insatiable appetite. We've seen deer inside a, a large snake, uh, alligators. Uh, other snakes, they'll eat anything, anything you can catch. So you're adding a, a, an apex predator into the system that doesn't belong there that has no natural predators of its own, and when there's su sufficient numbers of them, uh, they could actually start impacting some of our bird and, and, and mammal species. Experts believe Florida's swamps are home to tens of thousands of Burmese pythons, and with some females laying more than 100 eggs at a time, and every year, they won't disappear anytime soon.